The world did make a rainbow, and it made everything better. Yeah. Oh, do you remember when the pandemic started back, like oh, about seven thousand years ago, and everybody started to draw rainbows and put them up on windows outside their houses, and even on flagpoles and things like that. Remember that? The world made a rainbow. Oh, they even made a rainbow on my hands. Woo! And this book is all about making rainbows even when it's dark and stormy and cloudy and uncertain and windy. We don't know what's happening and maybe we're a little scared, but still, we can make a rainbow until we can see the rainbow. You see what I mean? Okay. Uh, you don't? Maybe? Maybe not? This doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right here. You're going to see it now. Oh, and by the way, uh, every one of these books that sells, a little portion of it goes to save the children. That's pretty nice. All right. Let's see. We got the crayons, all the necessary colors. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Michelle. She's really good. All of the world had to stay home today. I wish that it didn't. I wanted to play. I missed everybody, my grandma, my friends. My mom said, you'll see them once everything mends. Look at that, that kid's looking out the window. This girl's looking out her balcony right here. This one's taking advantage and playing and practicing her trumpet. This couple right there is holding their baby. And look, this little girl, she looks kind of sad and lonely here. And here's a grandma with her little pet. Yeah, everyone's stuck inside. Let's paint a big rainbow to put on display. When people pass by it and see it, they'll say, all rainstorms must end, and this rainstorm will too. And they'll feel a bit happier, all thanks to you. Those are words to live by. All rainstorms must end, and this rainstorm will too. So we dig out the paint pots. I love making art. We've got lots of red, so that's where I start. But red makes me think of the chairs in my class. My mom gives me a cuddle. This rainstorm will pass. Oh yeah. Sometimes memories make you happy, but then sometimes they make you sad because you miss something. My dad used to say something uh, called, uh, it's a saying, but it's in Spanish. Siempre que lluvia escampa. And there's not really a good translation for it, but it basically means that whenever, every time it rains, the sun eventually comes out it stops raining. So that's what we have to remember. The rainstorm is always temporary. Moving on. I can't reach the orange, but mom has to work. Look at that, she's working on her Zoom. And dad's with my brother, who's going berserk. Ooh, I know little brother temper tantrums. I'll paint with the yellow. It's bright like the sun. I spread it around with the red. This is fun. <gasps> I've made my own orange. Uh-huh, because she mixed her red and her yellow, but I can't make green. I'll need blue for that, but the blue paints white clean. Ah, frustrations. I start to feel lonely. I start to feel sad. Then, how about odd bits of cardboard, says dad. Ah, solution. I like that. He cuts and I stick and my brother helps too. Oh, it looks like the temper tantrum is over. We have to mix flour and water for glue. Did not know that that did that. It looks really good. Like the ocean, says mom, and all the adventures that will still go on. Oh, look at this. Now we're on to something. We're making something. To beaches, the city, the forest, the park. The light couldn't shine. 
if it never knew dark. Truth bomb right there. Got a story about that at the end. And rainbows can't color the world without rain. So we get back to work on my rainbow again. I've never been quite sure what indigo's like. Dad laughs, indigo, like your very first bike. And they dig out a memory box I've never seen, packed with mementos from places we've been. Oh, look at that, it's like medals and little trinkets and a ring and some letters and some pictures and a Polaroid. And I think that's a shell and a leaf. I shout indigo as I spot my mom's jeans. Well, I can't cut them out. So we use magazines. Then dad takes a picture for Graham and I say, memories are good. We'll make more every day. Excellent. My rainbow looks great. Look at that. Look at the blue cutout. It works beautifully. There's just violet to go. Violet. Oh, the loveliest person I know. Violet's my best friend. I miss her so much. Mom fetches her laptop. Let's put you in touch. And would you believe Violet feels just like me? Hey, bestie. And she's making a rainbow for people to see. We walk to see hers and she walks to see mine. Hey, we wave to each other and really it's fine. Not perfect, but neither's my rainbow. So what? I'm perfectly happy with all that I've got. Violet, my parents, my brother, my friends, and we'll still have each other when this rainstorm ends. Oh, it was so good. I wish the book kept going on. So good. Oh, okay. So I promised you a story, right? So I grew up in a very sunny place, right? And this is about that one page that I really liked that I said was a truth bomb. I'll pull it up while I'm telling you the story. So this was the part where here it said the light couldn't shine if it never knew dark. Literally, I grew up in a very sunshiny place and I just took it for granted because it was always sunny. So I never thought anything of it. And then I moved to a place where the sun didn't come out very much and it was dark a lot. And it was cloudy a lot. It was a lot of gray days. Boy, did I suddenly really miss the sunshine. I didn't know how wonderful it was until I lost it. And then I moved to somewhere where it was sunny again and it was like, ah, and now I appreciate every single sunny day. Because sometimes, kid, what happens is you don't realize how awesome something is until it's gone for a little while. And then if you're lucky, you get to get it back and then you appreciate it every day. But I'm telling you this now so that maybe you don't have to lose it and you could just appreciate everything you had like this kid. And what we learned from this was even though the pandemic is what inspired this book when everybody was indoors and couldn't connect to each other and everybody was stuck inside and you couldn't see each other except through a window. The idea is, is that no matter what tough times are ahead of us, this pandemic will be over. By the time you're reading this, maybe it's already ending and, or it's completely behind you. But even when times are tough, you look to what you do have. You have your family, you have your friends, you have your art. And you can share your art and your song. That's right. Ooh, ooh. Yes, and you can zoom and wave your wing or, or your arm uh, at your friends, just like Hootie. Ooh. Yeah, I learned a lot too. It's good to find the rainbow outside, but also inside your heart. Ooh. Yep, you can do that. You can be the rainbow until the actual rainbow comes out. Ooh. Sure, we can go make one right now. Ooh. Oh, okay, you guys are gonna go make a rainbow? You know what? Me too, because over here at Kid Time Story Time, we believe in rainbows. Yeah.